If you don't want to know any spoilers for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, skip to this. Okay, now, now that everybody's gone, I really thought it was hilarious that the spot was actually just created because Miles threw a bagel at him. <laughs> the spot, also known as Johnny On, get it? Because I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. Earned his doctorate at MIT and was actually roommates with Quentin Beck, also known as Mysterio. So that's cool. Graduating from MIT, he quickly became a scientist and he would end up working for Kingpin. Now what Dr. On was hired to do for Kingpin was to essentially recreate the powers of the hero known as the Cloak and to artificially mimic his powers so as to create portals. Working late one night, he ended up succeeding, creating a solid black circular portal. In doing so, however, the drain on the city's power became so great a blackout washed over the city, causing the portal to shimmer and destabilize. Fearful of losing a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, On stepped into it. The shock of the transition caused him to pass out, and he awoke floating weightlessly in a dimension which he initially assumed was Cloak's dark dimension. On soon realized, however, that the power shortage caused the portal to send him to a different dimension, a place of half-darkness and half-light. A seemingly infinite number of portals surrounded him in this place. Making swimming motions, he managed to find the original portal that brought him there and slipped back through it. When On emerged back in his lab through the great beyond, his body had undergone a radical transformation. The portals from the other dimension had adhered to his skin, covering him with black spots from head to toe. Realizing the spots were portable space warps, he started to think he might be able to use them to defeat anyone in battle. When Spider-Man and the Black Hat arrived to confront the Kingpin, he appeared before them and announced himself as the Spot. After the Spot announces himself, Spider Spider-Man fucking collapses on the floor laughing himself to death. But due to Spider-Man not taking the spot seriously, the spot ended up winning their first confrontation and warned the heroes to leave the Kingpin alone. Manipulating his portals in a way where he can never be touched made him a worthy opponent to Spider-Man. But in his inexperience with his newfound powers and not knowing the limit to them, the spot ended up losing his second battle against Spider-Man because he was tricked into throwing too many of his own spots as weapons and not keeping enough to defend himself. And after being stopped, the spot kind of just became the villain of the week. If you get it, you get it. He joined a couple teams, not really noteworthy enough to even talk about, I feel like. One on the wiki said he joined a team called the Spider-Man Revenge Squad with Gibbon, Grizzly, and Kangaroo, so... That's cool. And later, the spot ends up helping Tombstone escape from a maximum security prison. But as a method of thanking the spot, Tombstone snaps his neck, and the spot just dies. Despite the spot's apparent death, the spot would still emerge back to life years later. And during a meeting with another villain, Spot ends up getting killed by Elektra and a group of hand ninjas. <laughs> okay, so reading the wiki further, the spot dies again and then gets resurrected and then goes on to assault to, like, attack a shield helicarrier, but since Wolverine's on board, he ends up just killing the Spot, too. So, the Spot, like, dies 500 times, it seems like. And when the Spot comes back for, like, the upteenth time, he tries to fight off the Mandarin, but the Mandarin ends up redirecting his own powers against him and traps him in his own portal dimension. The Spot tries to, like, reach out to people in the bar with no name, like, most notably where villains go to hide out or just share a drink with each other and they all just ignore him and to make matters even worse when he ended up getting out of this portal dimension he got hired by dr octopus to join the sinister six for like two seconds spider-man became entangled in this pursuit for a baby and after the chameleon led him to believe that the infant had died spider-man would then later go on a rampage against the villains involved in doc ock's plan and he would deliver the spot webbed up alongside diablo and overdrive beaten to holy hell now after this is not really much that's noteworthy except for his fight between Carnage and the artist. Carnage sets out to kill the Spot to claim his powers for himself, and the Spot attempts to plead for his life, and when Carnage refused to oblige, the Spot would try to make a break for it. But the artist would grab the Spot's leg, weighing him down long enough to distract him so Carnage could predict which Spot the Spot would emerge from, then seize him and rip him apart subsequently absorbing his remains and his powers. After being killed for like the other umpteenth time, the Spot's disembodied head, however, claimed he would return from within the Spotted Dimension eventually. Now, I assume that this has yet to be seen because the wiki kind of just ends here, but the Spot has always been my favorite underrated villain from the 94 animated Spider-Man series, mostly because I just dig his aesthetic. I, I love like the Spotted costume, and I also just love the idea that he can just just manipulate portals from his body to go wherever he wants. It's just 
just such a simple and cool idea. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys like this little short brief video about the spot. <laughs> I like I would have done a huge video about him, but I just saw the movie and I kind of just wanted to do something really quick. So I hope you guys like this. See you later. Something I also just found out while editing this video is that Daredevil fights the spot in one instance, and I love the way the radar sense makes the spot look almost as if he's missing chunks from his body. It's just so cool. And if you don't think it's cool, you can just go ahead and unsub.